Yo, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It feels like I haven't filmed a YouTube video in ages. Lockdown is just long, school is long. But anyway, I hope you're well. Before we get into the video properly, leave a comment, leave a like, press the subscribe button. I'm just trying to spread some love, I'm just trying to spread some light, I'm just trying to spread some truth. I upload every Tuesday and Friday, so check back then if you wanna see my videos. Today I am talking about the selfie, the selfie age, the selfie game. The title's a bit ambiguous, so if it caught your attention then I've done my job. It's a crazy world we live in, isn't it? We're always striving to just be noticed, just like, someone notice me, someone just, please, pay me compliment compliments. And it's in everything, it's not just in the selfie, it's in jobs, it's in school, it's in uh, the clothes we wear, it's in the brands we flex. We're just craving approval everywhere we go. Right, so basically, I am a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> not really, it's not weird. I'm quite creative, so I love writing. And what I did was last year in 2019, I just started writing my thoughts down. Like during the day, I'd just be like, oh, I'm just gonna write this down because I sound like a poet or I sound like an author. Um, so I'd write the dates and I'd write like the, what I wanted to write just so I could keep a record. And if I became a famous author in the future, I could call it the diaries of Maria Wright, you know? Um, <laughs> So yeah, so every month, every day, well not every day, it would be like once or twice a month that I just write out my feelings, write out my thoughts. But they had to be good, like they, it wasn't just any random thing, it was just more stuff that was really like, whoa, like sticking out to me. And on one day, October 30th, for some reason, I wrote this down, I must have seen a selfie, and I wrote this. Isn't the selfie such a strange concept? People spending hours fixated on creating the perfect outward image of themselves that they can. It's a series of checklists. Hold a bra, pretty, shows a bit of cleavage, maybe add some contour on that, get the perfect glow, cover up all those blemishes, you aren't perfect enough, get all the brands in there, flex those airpods, tuck the tummy in, or you can just photoshop it out later. Make sure your hair is perfect, your makeup is perfect, your face is perfect, your body is perfect. How tiring. I'm not talking against selfies. I've taken photos before just because I felt pretty, but when all we can think about is the obsessive nag telling us to check the likes, check the comments, we're in a dangerous position on relying on others to supply our joy. But people aren't sustainable. People can't su supply you joy for the rest of your life. When your skin fades, your body sags, and no one loves you for your appearance anymore, where does that leave you? To clarify, a selfie is you in pixelated perfection, prepared for the world to be your hype man. Comments about your beauty when all you can see is a phone in front of your face. I'm not saying you're not beautiful, but there is so much more to you than your body. How degrading, how degrading to be limited to your body. I feel like crying. And that is where I left it. And the reason I brought that, the reason I brought that up is, is it's what inspired me to make this video because it was like, it just sums up how I feel. I'm not just talking about the selfie itself. A selfie is harmless. I take loads of selfies, but it's what drives us that's the most important thing. What drives us to make a, to take a selfie? What is it? For me, it is because I think I look really nice and I want other people to hype me up. I want other people to say to me, wow, you're so gorgeous. You're so cute. You're so pretty. I'm just the whole shebang, I'm just like, give it to me, I just want to be loved. Love me. Love me. Love me! Done, isn't that the thing? We just want to be loved so bad. We just want love. We just want people to look at us and be like, wow, you are such a worthy human being. You get a gold star. Go, you. So, it can be in anything. We can do it 
with selfies, we can do it. Like I said earlier, we can do it with the clothes we wear. We can do it with getting in with the it crowd. We can do it with splurging on a new wardrobe so that everyone will look at me when I walk down the street. And yeah, I'm being dramatic, but it's true, isn't it? Look at your own life. I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not saying that to be like, oi, you. Because I do it too. I do it all the time. A lot of the time I wear makeup to school just because I don't want people to think I'm ugly, you know? Or I'll wear high-waisted jeans that hide my belly so that no one will think I'm too chubby. Sounds strange, doesn't it? That everything we do is driven by what other people think. And I know this isn't exactly a new revolutionary idea to be free of what others think, but it seems that we don't make an effort to stop it. I'm not saying that every single selfie you've posted You've posted with the intention of trying to get loads of attention. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying a lot of the time it is driven from that place. See, a lot of the time I'll turn to social media when I feel unloved, when I feel lacking in, you know, appreciation, when I just want people to be like, wow, she's so pretty, or wow, she's so stunning, wow, she's so skinny. Wow, she's so curvaceous or whatever. Guys, you know this butt was coming. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is. This is what I've said in a video before. If you've seen it, the one about your foundation, what is your life based on? I'm not just speaking to girls. I feel like I've aimed this at girls, but it breaks my heart that all of us, like boys and girls, spend hours just making up ourselves and remaking up ourselves and and taking photos and editing photos and touching up photos and just everything just to post to get our hundred likes or something we're just so desperate for approval we're so desperate that we're willing to just do anything we're willing to go with a crowd instead of stand out you know i've noticed this trend going around is it a trend i don't know i'm not really down with the kids um, but this thing of like, <laughs> on your Instagram only having like three photos or like two photos and all of them or both of them are of you. We're just becoming cookie cutters of each other. When we do stuff like that, it's just like, do you actually want that? Or do you just want people to go on your Instagram page and be like, oh, you know, she doesn't stand out. She's okay. You know, she, or you know, he doesn't make an effort to be different. That's okay, we can accept him. Like, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to be like, oh my gosh, look at me. But I'm learning, I'm still learning to just let go of stuff like that. Little petty thing, it's petty. Self, just putting up selfies and only having three po posts on your Instagram just because everyone else does it. My Instagram, I've tried to just, I haven't, well, I haven't deleted too many of my old photos and I keep up photos of my family. I keep up photos of just random things. Like, what's so wrong with that? Why is that seen as weird? It's not. I mean, at least it's not to me. I'm not like anyone else. You're not like anyone else. You weren't created that way. You were created with individual gifts. You were created with an individual personality, with individual skills, with individual quirks. Like, it's okay to be yourself, okay? So I titled this, I titled this video the selfie game, but really it's just the life game. We're just all trying to play just to get approval from others, but you, you ah. I just want you to be free from that, okay? You just gotta let go of what people think of you. You can just separate yourself from the little things. You can make your Instagram your own. I know that's the smallest thing ever, but you know, it makes you a big difference. It separates you from other people. And once you do it in the little things, it will translate into the big things. So when you go to school, don't be afraid to speak up when you don't like a joke that's being said or to be the one who goes, actually, I don't think we should gossip about this person because that's just not nice and decent. Keep pressing on to truth. God is good. Y'all are great. Jesus loves y'all. Beautiful people. Peace out.